All right, back again with another video on the 50 video campaign. 50 secrets it's okay to keep from your partner. Next item on the list, you committed a minor crime. The article says, many people commit fairly minor legal transgressions in their youth. Uh, shoplifting a lipstick, racking up a speeding ticket or two, uh, getting busted with a joint in their locker. Um, if you're no longer getting in trouble with the law and the crime doesn't affect you, your current life, go ahead and leave your past where it belongs. Um, I guess with this one, you know, it's your choice if you choose to keep past crimes, past small crimes, um, from a partner when you meet, you know, you choose not to divulge that information. I'll say this though, um, I've never had an issue divulging those things in my past, you know, that I've done in my youth um, with a partner that I'm with. I mean, it's nothing that I'm ashamed of. Like the article points out, we're all young and dumb at some point. And, you know, again, I just like, my approach is this. Somehow, some way, I repeated it several times in this 50 video campaign. Things that we wish would stay buried somehow, sometimes has a way of coming to light. And you don't know how certain people are going to take certain things. But you have to consider, is it better to have someone know about something stupid that you did and maybe got into, into trouble with the police with when you were a kid or when you were a teenager or even in your early 20s? And now you're in your late 20s or your early or mid 30s and you're not a career criminal by any means. But do you want somehow, some way for that thing that you did to come out? And if for nothing else, your partner to feel like, damn, I don't really know you or I don't know everything about you like I thought I did. That's kind of a, that's kind of a problem. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you do care about how your partner really feels and takes things, you know, again, I, I, I say this all the time, too. <clears throat> you know, if you're considering spending your time with someone, if you're considering sharing your body with someone and if you're considering sharing your future with someone however short that future might be if it's a two-year relationship or a 20-year one that's very intimate so why not be willing to share your past how can you be willing to share your future with someone but not your past and that's really my only take on that um y'all can let me know what y'all think about it otherwise no big deal you know what i'm saying most people like the article points out have some things in their past that they're probably not proud of but i mean it's like one of the things you look back at and laugh you've probably shared it with your friends you've probably told the story over drinks with you know people that you work with or maybe not but why not share it with your partner with like what's the harm what's the big deal it's small infractions you know you didn't kill or rape anybody pretty sure your partner's not going to really care about it um anyway that's it for this one like comment and subscribe back at y'all in a few minutes to wrap it up peace and love